Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video and as you know today is Sunday that means we got to do the box office wrap up and boy oh boy was this weekend way more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Uh, originally I thought it was going to be a bland weekend. You had a couple of new movies but nothing huge so I was just like you know what I'm just not going to do a box office predictions video. Not many people watch them anyway so I'm just not going to do it uh, and boy oh boy am I regretting that because this weekend was way more interesting than I thought, and that's mainly because of one movie that overperformed, like way overperformed, and a couple other movies that did better than I thought, you know, which we'll get to. But um, I didn't make any predictions, so we can't really compare my predictions to um, what the movies gross, so this is going to be a, a shorter video than usual, and that's perfectly fine because I, I still don't feel good. I really don't. So I, I kind of want to get through this quick, but I also really want to talk about some of these movies. So you know what? Let's get to it, baby. Let's get to it. Here are the box office numbers for this weekend. Bam! There they are. So let's talk about it. Okay, so this is the top 10. Top 10 looking pretty snazzy, I will admit. All right, so let's let's go straight off with number one. The number one movie for the weekend was A Quiet Place, uh, which is not surprising. It was number one the last... Oh, actually, it wasn't number one last weekend. It says right there. Durr. But it was number one the first weekend it came out, and then it was number two last weekend. Uh, it just edged out Rampage in its second weekend. Uh, Rampage actually held off pretty good. It was actually like a 41% drop. Not too bad for a movie like that. Um, and it made 21 million, but A Quiet Place dropped only about 30%, 22 million in its third weekend. Pretty damn good hold. Uh, that movie's doing extremely well. If I am correct, I believe the movie has made $132 million so far. And I could see this movie, if it stays in there well enough when Avengers comes out next weekend, I could see this movie doing around, I don't know, maybe. 180 million i could see it, it just crossing 180 million maybe if it holds better ne like really good next weekend i could see it maybe slowly crossing that 200 million dollar uh, mark for domestic but i don't know I, I i doubt it but 180 i could see it getting to so that that's really good for a movie that costs 17 million dollars to make it's a great film still my favorite movie of this year i loved it that was great uh, number two, like I said, was Rampage, $21 million. That's a damn good hold, 41% drop. Uh, it has currently made $283 million worldwide. Uh, it had a huge, huge opening in China last weekend. It made like $55 million. Uh, I think this weekend actually did um, pretty well in China as well. So $283 million worldwide on a $120 million budget. It already doubled its budget. I could see this getting pretty close to maybe... 350 to 400 million dollars and maybe good enough for a sequel i don't know we'll see but i'm i'm glad it's doing decent because i had a good time with that movie and i rather that do good than a uh, truth or dare which is it's not even though it, it costs like two dollars to make so i guess technically it is doing well but it dropped pretty hard but we'll get to that in a second number three is i feel pretty the new amy schumer uh turd and that <laughs> that came out and uh, to be fair, I didn't hear it was terrible, um, but it didn't do extremely well considering Amy Schumer, her first movie that she starred in did extremely well, Trainwreck, and I actually did like Trainwreck, uh, but it did better than Snatched, I believe. Snatched, I think, made like around the same amount, like 15 million or something like that, maybe even more, maybe it did better, I'm not sure, but I feel pretty did okay considering it was a movie that I feel like there was not really much hype towards I, at least i don't think there was really 16.2 million dollars not too bad um but the one that just completely came out of nowhere and shattered every expectation was number four and that is super troopers 2 made 14.7 million dollars which to be honest that's a little disappointing compared to how much it made on friday it made like 7.9 million dollars on friday which that's more than half of what it made all together so that that right there is a little weird that friday it made more than half of what it did the entire weekend um but i guess it makes sense because it was a uh, i guess it was 420 i guess I, I don't know if that really made a difference but i, I guess because it was 420 and people wanted to go see a movie on in, on 420 i guess they saw super troopers too uh, also you have to remember that um the friday gross also takes into account the Thursday gross. So whatever money it made on Thursday is actually added to the Friday one. So I guess if you if you think about it like that, it makes sense. But um, yeah, 14.7 million is still way better than anybody thought. I thought it was gonna make like five to six million, maybe seven million, 
but damn 14.7 million that's insane that's way bigger than the opening for the original movie which that never usually happens when you have a comedy uh, a sequel to a comedy that came out a long ass time ago C- shit compared to like something like zoolander 2 this is huge huge now how well is it going to do in the next few weeks i don't know but to be honest 14.7 million dollars is a, a a fine first weekend so if it drops off pretty quickly after this i think that's still considered a win uh it, it used uh, most of its budget was uh was uh crowdfunded anyway so i don't know how much money they need to really make back to be considered a success so who knows they might have already made all their money back i'm not sure i don't even know how much the marketing was uh usually we don't know how much the marketing for a movie is anyway so that's not a surprise but that's huge so congrats i did see it i did want to do a review but i was not feeling well enough to do a review for you guys so <laughs> maybe i'll do it tomorrow but who knows we'll, we'll see uh but anyway there you go number five was truth or dare which dropped over 50 percent. i believe it was like a 52 percent drop or so no 58 percent drop Whew, that makes me happy um it made 7.9 million this weekend truth or dare was just a shitty movie it was it, it was it was a movie that does not deserve to be in the top five and it still is in the top five which sucks but you know it, it, it being that close to a quiet place in any form of box office number um is embarrassing because this movie should not be a success it, it was so fucking lazy and terrible i i really dislike that movie that's probably my least favorite movie of this year so far and i saw acrimony and hellraiser whatever the fuck it was called judgment and all these other movies just fights uh, winchester i did peter rabbit fucking hell all right number six was ready player one which made seven and a half million dollars this weekend which is not too bad of a hold for its fourth week, uh fourth weekend um one thing i want to say though for ready player one is that it finally crossed 500 million dollars worldwide which is huge that's way better than i thought it was ever going to do um and i i can only assume we're going to be getting that sequel which i know a lot of people say like how are they going to do a sequel if there was no sequel to the book or whatever they could do a sequel. <laughs> they don't need to base it on a book. I mean, look at Game of Thrones. They're, they're basing it off bullshit now. They're just coming up with shit to go with uh, Game of Thrones. So they could easily do that for Ready Player One. Um, and hell, they'll do it if they can make that money. Um, so yeah, there you go. Ready Player One is doing extremely well. Way better than I thought. And I loved it, so I'm happy. You know, I know a lot of people were like, there's too many references. Just like, they're not in your face. Stop acting like they are. You just want to be a fucking child and complain about everything. I hate I hate people like that. It's just like, well, there's too many of this. I'm smart. I'm, I want you all to know that I'm smart and I look for depth in my movie. I want depth in my movie. Ugh, depth. I want something I want something deep. Dude, whatever. Fuck off. It's a, it's a fucking Hollywood bu- big budget movie. I don't give a shit. It was fun. I don't care. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Eat a dick eat a dick but um all right so there you go that was number six number seven was blockers it held pretty well in its third weekend i think third weekend might be its fourth weekend actually um but no it was the third weekend uh held pretty well i thought it was a fun little movie i didn't love it but i thought it was good it only dropped 35 percent. by the way uh, ready player one also dropped 35 percent um made 6.9 it's almost at 50 million right now so that's pretty good um, number eight is Black Panther, only dropped 19.7 percent in its second weekend, or uh, second weekend, yeah, okay, its tenth weekend actually. Um, and that movie has already done so fucking well that it doesn't even make another dollar, but it's still making money. I mean, next week I'm sure because of uh, f- because of Avengers, it's probably gonna drop even more. But who knows? Maybe it'll hold well next week too. <laughs> Maybe people will want to do, like, double features of, like, Black Panther, then Avengers. I could see people actually wanting to do that. Like, watch Avenger. I mean, Black Panther right before Avengers just because they want to. Uh, I could see that because, I mean, there's another Marvel movie that's still doing well out right now when there's also a huge Marvel movie that just came out. So, I could see them doing that. So, congrats to Black Panther. Number nine is Traffic. That freaking movie that about the kidnap, the sex trade. I don't know. Fuck. I saw the trailer for the, that movie about 35 fucking times. So I'm so glad it's out. So I don't need to see a trailer ever again. Only made 3.8 million. But to be fair, it only came out in like a little over a thousand theaters. So that's actually not too bad for a movie like that. I'm sure if it came out in over 2000, it would have done way better. It just seems like a movie that would have done better if it actually had more of a chance. Uh, I heard it wasn't good, but I didn't hear it was 
was like horrible. So, you know, that movie's inoffensive, I think, to me at least. I just don't give a fuck about it because I've seen that trailer so many times. It's such a lame trailer. Oh my god. Uh, number ten is Isle of Dogs, made three point four million in its uh, fifth weekend. Only dropped thirty eight percent from last weekend, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's better than Sergeant Stubby. Sergeant Stubby, I don't even know where that boy went. He's not even in this list. <laughs> I'm looking at the actual box office mojo list. I don't see him anywhere in the top 100. Uh, I'm sure they just haven't uh, announced how much it made. I don't know why I'm so, like, I'm so into Sergeant Stubby. I just, I guess I just really like Sergeant Stubby. <laughs> I really like that guy. He's a good boy. It's a good boy, Sergeant Stubby. But anyway, that's the top 10. It's pretty interesting to see, that's for sure. Uh, by the way, A Quiet Place has uh, officially made around uh, yeah a little over 200 million dollars worldwide too it has made 74 million dollars in um foreign monies uh so it, has, it actually has made over 200 million dollars so that's actually a little added note there i guess but anyway um besides that i guess uh i guess we could look at uh because i didn't ever do a um uh predictions video obviously i guess let's take a look real quick at the poll that I made for the predictions video that I never made. I never made a predictions video, but I did ask people what they thought, how much they thought uh, I feel pretty would make. Uh, so let's get that up. Originally I wasn't going to do this, but uh, I feel bad that I polled everybody and now I'm not going to show it off in this video. So let's do that real quick. Let me get my, here we go. Uh, here it is. Let's bring it up a little bit. All right. So, I asked here, I'll just cover the screen. It says, all right, just for the sake of keeping this consistent, how much do you think I Feel Pretty will make this weekend? And then <laughs> 330 people voted. So, thank you, everybody that voted. 18% uh, said 5 million. So, wrong. 10% uh, said 10 million. Wrong. 15, I mean, 16%, I'm sorry, 16%. 6% said 15 million. Correct. Well, more correct than anything else. 5% said 20 million and then 62% said my pussy stanks. So, I mean, <laughs> that's most of uh, Amy Schumer's humor. So I was, I was about to say Amy Poehler too. I was oh, almost about to say that. Let's take a look at the comments real quick. Uh, the comments are pretty gold too. Uh, I like that when they comment too, they, I, I guess I guess there's a thing with a poll where it, if you comment, it also tells me uh, what they chose. So everybody chose my pussy stank. My pussy stanks. Looks like garbage. The trailer for a movie almost ruined my Black Panther experience. Oh shit! You, they showed that in front of Black Panther. Uh, hopefully none. <laughs> so much for the world ending. <laughs> oh five million for this guy. Doesn't everyone and their grandmas hate Amy Schumer at this point? I don't, I don't care for her. Nah, she's definitely running her chorus, and there's proof that she steals material and shit. So that, that is completely, just whew, that makes me so fucking mad that she actually steals people's um, um, material. Uh, ha ha ha! Oh my god! <laughs> Five hundred plus million, probably staying number one next week, beating Infinity War. You know what? That that's probably true, even though it only made sixteen point mil. 0.2 million but it could be one of those movies where people didn't see it the first weekend and they see it the next weekend like a lot of people see it the next weekend so it could do uh it could do very well next time oh and i made an art poll <laughs> this one was different I, I asked considering this weekend is pretty weak i have a different poll involving a new movie being released uh, how much ass do you think i feel pretty will suck and i said so much ass not that much ass all of the ass insert i'm a slut joke here and 50 percent voted for that one so all right well there you go thank you everybody that voted for both of those polls that one only had like 100 votes uh, so that's why I also did the box office one because I think more people enjoy those than just me asking, do you think this will, this shitty movie will suck? Like, of course it will suck. It looks like a shitty movie. It looks like shallow hell except worse somehow. Um, but anyway, there you go. That is, um, that's the box office video again. Sorry. I don't feel all that great. I also have to record a podcast right after this, which is, that's going to suck. But, um, anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you. And until next time, of course, goodbye.